Joyce Vincent died in her apartment in December of 2003. Her remains wouldn't be found until January 2006. And if this sounds like the kind of thing that should be in a movie, it is. Uh, there is a film called Dreams of a Life about the very strange circumstances that led to this woman going missing for years and nobody searching for her. Joyce lived above a shopping center in London's Wood Green, known locally as Sky City, in a housing trust flat for families and people who experienced domestic violence. That would be one of the defining factors as to why she had gone missing. While she was in this relationship that was very toxic and abusive, she was isolated from almost everyone she knew. She stopped talking to friends, family, everybody. And by the time she moved on and got help, she was already entirely by herself. In 2001, she randomly quit her job and it was almost like she disappeared. In fact, it seems like the last time anyone actually saw her was when she was hospitalized at North Middlesex Hospital for a peptic ulcer after vomiting blood. Her neighbors rarely saw her as she kept to herself and her next door neighbors just assumed that she must like having the TV on because it was always on day and night. The heat and the electric bills were being debited from her accounts, so no bill collectors came calling. Her rent was being partially paid for while she was getting back on her feet by the Metropolitan Housing Trust. Since at least part of the rent was being paid, officials assumed that she was still alive. Until people looked at their records and saw that there was 2,400 pounds of unpaid rent. After many phone calls and sending letters that of course weren't being responded to, they finally decided they were just going to repossess the property, and that's when they broke in on January 25th, 2006. There, they found Joyce, laying on her back, holding a shopping bag, surrounded by Christmas presents that she hadn't had a chance to give to anyone. Her remains were so badly decomposed that they could barely do an autopsy. She had to be identified through dental records. And of course, a lot of people are going to ask, well, what about her family? Well, her sister actually did hire a private detective to find her, and they found her house, but by the time her sister started sending letters, she had already passed. After so many letters went unanswered, her sister just decided, I guess she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Police investigation proved that there was no foul play. In fact, the front door had been double locked and they had to breach it. In the movie about her life, they come to the conclusion that, strangely enough, everyone was assuming that the very social, beautiful Joyce was off somewhere having a better life than they were when the reality is she was just trying to get her life back.